Welcome to Rusty Blade Productions. Today we are counting down the top 10 best horror movies of all time, in our opinion. Number 10, Tatum, Scream. just get in the car. In Wes Cavern's 1996 slasher horror uh. classic, a masked maniac Hi. known as Ghostface stalks me. and murders high school students, causing heightened fear and well, tension. Well, I, I have no idea. Scary night, isn't it? With the murders and all, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. <laughs> Randy, you gave yourself away. Are you calling from work because Tatum's on her way over? Do you like scary movies, Sydney? Number nine, The Ring. What was on the tape? When you watch the nightmarish images of the videotape, you receive a phone call telling you you will die in exactly seven days. Newspaper reporter Rachel Keller is skeptical of the story she has heard about the videotape until four teenagers all die mysteriously exactly one week after watching the tape. She watches the tape and has seven days to unravel the mystery. Number eight, Saw. Well, Photographer Adam and oncologist Lawrence That's regain exactly consciousness, chains of pipes in an I old decrepit bathroom. Well, then don't keep me in the they come to realise they have been kidnapped by the sadistic serial killer known as Jigsaw. They must solve a puzzle and play along with a statistic game in Open order it. to survive. Number seven, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Another Wes Cavern classic. Several teenagers fall prey to Freddy Krueger, a disfigured killer who preys on his victims in their dreams. But when they get killed in their dreams, they also die in reality. <laughs> Please, God. This is God. Number six, Psycho. Stopping for a night at Norman Bates Motel is something Sam Loomis will learn to regret. Norman Bates is a polite man with an interest in taxidermy and a dangerous obsession with his mother. Psycho shows one of the most iconic horror murder scenes in film history. Number 5. Texas Chainsaw Massacre When Sally hears her grandfather's grave may have been vandalised, she sets out with a group of friends to investigate. They discover a family of crazed, murderous and cannibalistic outcasts. They one by one get attacked by the chainsaw-wielding killer Leatherface, who wears a mask made of human skin. Number four, The Shining. This classic is based on a novel by Stephen King. When Jack becomes the winter caretaker of the Overlook Hotel in Colorado, he takes his wife and son with him. An evil spiritual presence influences him and he begins to unravel into an unhinged homicidal maniac hell-bent on terrorizing his family. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains. Good evening, Terry. Number three, Silence of the Lambs. Clara Starling, a top student at FBI's training academy, interviews Dr. Hannibal Lecter, a violent psychopath serving a life behind bars for various acts of murder and cannibalism. 
Starling and FBI partner Jack Crawford believe Lecter is the key to their current case. What is the first and principal thing he does? What do you mean that he's served by killing him? Anger. Um, social acceptance. I mean, uh, sexual frustrations. Right? No, he covets. That is his nature. And how do we begin to covet, Terry? The Lord sustains my life. In Number two, The Exorcist, the one of the most the profitable the horror movies ever made. A story of an exorcism of a girl yourself, possessed by the devil the makes some of the most iconic the scenes in the film. Fortified tower, in the face of the enemy, <sighs> let the enemy have no power over him. Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who once and for all consigned that fallen tyrant to the flames of hell, who sent your only begotten son into the world to crush... Number one, Halloween. Halloween, 1963. Six-year-old Michael Myers brutally murders his older sister. He was sentenced and locked away for 15 years. October the 30th, 1978. Michael, now 21, escapes and returns home where he searches for his next victim. 